Hey folks, it's Fernando doing our video for more survivalists and today I'm going to be showing you the Coastal Voyager large Tanto with a combo edge, 50% serrations and straight edge. Now before I even get started, I'm going to be admitting it, I'm a fan of Coastal. I really like most of their knives and especially um, I especially like their Voyagers. Uh, I've had them since uh, since day one. I'm not just saying it, I bought the, the first Voyagers that came out. This is their first um, the first Voyager back in the day. They were made in, in in Japan. Plastic clip integrated. Just one side only for opening, not uh, ambidextrous uh, uh, thumb stud. You know, all those little things that have been improved over the years. Uh, even the their uh, Tanto as well, larger one, also pocket clip there. Now they already integrated the ambidextrous opening and one of the ones that I've carried the most for many years, this one. Now with the metal clip, not no longer the integrated plastic one, this is the Coastal El Hombre, which means the man in Spanish, <laughs> even has a little cowboy there. Figure. This used to be black paint, but it peeled off over the years. Now this is known as the Vaquero, and you have it in your Voyager series as well. Voyagers are basically Tanto, Clip Points, or Vaquero, which is this blade shape. So yes, I'm, I'm a fan of, of Cold Steel, and I especially like their, um, their Voyager knives. And another thing I'm going to be saying right away is that I believe, if for the money, these are right now $31.85 in Amazon. I'm going to be leaving the link below price may be somewhat around there, maybe changes, but they are really uh, affordable. For 31 bucks, uh, I can pretty much guarantee you, you're not gonna be finding a better knife than a Coastal Voyager for that money. Hands down, no question whatsoever. Um, the thing is this, even for more money, you're not gonna be finding a, a tougher, stronger knife. Maybe you're gonna be finding one that you like more, the design, the shape, the aesthetics of it, but you're not gonna be finding a stronger folding knife for that money. All right, uh, actually the, the Cold Steel Voyagers, and that's because of their triad lock mechanism, which we're gonna be getting to in a second. But because of that, Cold Steel, Vo Cold Steel folders uh, are the toughest folders uh, available. There are some more of a gimmicky ones that have some weird mechanisms that supposedly are stronger, uh, but, it, you know, and if you know of a folding knife that is stronger than a Cold Steel Voyager, let me know in the comment section because I really would like to know. For a hundred bucks, for two hundred bucks, for three hundred bucks, for no money, do you have um, realistically something tougher than a, a Cold Steel a Voyager. Again, if you do know, let me know, but way stronger than 99% of, of the knives uh, out there. That's what Coastal says. And yeah, I say that uh, I don't know of any stronger locking mechanism than this one. One more time, if you do know, love to hear about it. Leave your comments. So let's quickly go through some of the specs, what you have. The price, we already talked, 31 bucks or somewhere along those lines. It's, uh, it's pretty affordable. In terms of the blade, the large version has, for all models, large version is a four inch blade. Uh, that's the minimum I'd like to go for. I'm not comfortable with something smaller than that. I have carried smaller before, not happy with it. I think that four inches uh, is the minimum. I like five inches, five and a half, maybe their XL versions. Yeah, they get a little bit uh, maybe too big sometimes, uh, but four inches is, is very realistic in terms of being something that is easy to carry without bothering you one bit and still having enough, uh, enough of a blade, enough of a knife. You have a thickness of 3.5 millimeters in your blade, which is pretty tough, pretty pretty thick. And one of the things I like of the of the Tanto version compared to the Clip Point one is that you do not have that a uh, full flat uh, grind. You have that saber grind. But I'm going to be doing a separate video uh, of the differences and the different um, comparing the different uh, Cold Steel Voyager blade shapes: the Clip Point, the Tanto, and the um, and the Vaquero. 
is steel is OS 8 Japanese stainless steel um, not fantastic it's not a super steel or anything but it's quite good for the utilitarian purpose uh, that it's intended for uh, yes I, I think they used to have the VG1 was uh, actually better the steel that they use in some of the older knives I believe to be better than the one they're currently using right before they use VG1 right stainless steel uh, but uh, I mean, no complaints there. Uh, yes, I would definitely be happy enough to pay for a bit more money so as to have a better steel. I at least would. I understand that for people that are not interested in that sort of thing, uh, OS 8 stainless steel is more than good enough. Sharpens enough, holds an edge, no complaints. Um, in terms of, of the, the handle material, this is a grivery, which is somewhat of a, of a plastic. Um, I'm okay with that. G T G10 and and that sort of thing is is nice, but you know plastic. Yes, I, I don't have a problem with it. Has a good amount of of traction with that cross pattern that it has. Then you have the internal liners. These are uh, 6661 heat treated aluminum liners. Makes the blade extra strong. Uh, the, the folder uh, the folder extra strong. You can actually disassemble it fully which uh, in the old days it was just all riveted into place no longer the case you can fully disassemble it for cleaning for maintenance which is really nice pocket clip on both sides yes it does come with the extra pocket clip it opens fast enough some people have complained that it's not fast or that's just you know that it's not fast enough opening i don't have a problem with that i don't know you know maybe people are super experts at opening knives or whatnot i just find that it opens swiftly enough little you know no problem they are just and with either hand more of, of a lefty myself but yeah opens right-handed left-handed just you don't have a lot of friction there so it opens well enough uh, other complaints were that the lock back was just too stiff uh, again you know as you see just a bit of not just a bit uh, a moderate amount of pressure on the on the back lock blade just drops no problems there either a uh, breaking period is really just opening and closing it a couple times and that's it it has a stone wash uh, finish which looks sort of good i much prefer having a, a polished f uh, finish this in my opinion makes it much easier to keep the blade clean and avoid stuff from getting all stuck there into place regarding the main characteristic of the voyagers all right we have a, a well-designed anatomically correct grip okay steel but the key of how strong this knife is is the, the triad lock used by cold steel what does triad lock mean well i can actually show it to you right now in the old knives in the old cold steel knives like this one like my old el hombre this is a, the typical lock back used by all knives pretty much everywhere around the world uh, a lock back design is basically this you have your pivot point you have your your lock back that has a spring pushing it uh, pushing it down on the notch of the blade so when it folds into place drops, locks, and unless you apply pressure there, you're not releasing, it stays in place. Good design, has worked for hundreds of years as far as I know, and it's, it's, it's okay, it's very good. It's, it's actually pretty strong. Why is the triad lock better, and what is it actually? The triad lock is simply a pin. The triad lock is this pin placed in that location. What that pin does is offers an extra point of support where forces are going to be spreading and falling into here you only have your pivot point once it pivots locks into place now the blade is resting against that back lock now here with that pivot once it falls there into place it rests on that pin at the same time that it locks it bites into the notch that it has the lock back does that but this pin gives it that extra strength and it does make a difference it, it does make for a much stronger it, you know at least it is clearly stronger than not having it so it um, gives an extra point of, of support where forces are going to be going to and tra being transferred to the rest of the of the handle material and that's why you have those uh, those um, those uh, aluminum liners on the inside and do a great job it's simply a great design. 
and as far as I know, the best locking design that I know of, unless you get into some of the gimmicky ones that have like locking things and such, but something that just falls into place like this and is as strong as this, this is the best one around. Now, let's get into the blade shape and the combo wedge. Another criticism, again, a huge fan of, of Cold Steel, love the Voyagers, but completely honest, the serrations are not good. I at least do not like it. And I'm going to be showing you right now why that is. With typical serrations like the ones that you have, or more traditional ones like the ones that you have here in this, um, in this uh, Victorian Ox Soldier, you have those serrations. And the idea of the serration is that anything that is coming into contact uh, and maybe damaging the edge, at least the uh, utilitarian aspect of the serrations is that, for example, you're using this knife to eat dinner in a ceramic plate. You have a straight edge the ceramic is going to be making contact with the edge all the time. With your serrations, if I have a ceramic plate, steel, stone, whatnot, whatever it is that I'm, I'm messing the knife with, that's more likely to get into contact with the tip of the knife rather than the curvature of the serrations. That means that in a practical sense, I will have uh, spared the sharp edge on the inside of the curvature of the, of the serrations for actual cutting. So. Uh, a soldier has a knife that is beaten to crap, you know, awful edge, but it has a lower section with serrations. A soldier uses that knife to cut through a piece of cord. He's more likely to have somewhat of an edge left in, within that serration than if he didn't have it, than the other way around. So even though it's not as good in push cutting as, um, as a straight edge, it still d gets the job done. Now, when you have these uh, needle serrations which cold steel uses in combination with more traditional ones you see how it has you know the typical curvature of a of a of a serrated edge and then they go with all these needles that that a lots lots of little little needles this uh it's really not that good you know and i'm going to be showing it to you right now what happens is this i have i'm going to be cutting first want you to guys to see it Gonna be cutting first with that um, that typical the typical serration thing. Push cuts. Now, when I use this section of the serrations that has all those little needles, it does not push cut nearly as well. And the reason for that is that the more little needles, the more the smaller the serration is, and especially with something like that. All those little, little needles, what I actually do is increase the contact surface. So when I'm push cutting, I actually have to apply more force. And I'm doing it right now and I can actually feel the difference. When push cutting, using the serrations that have those little, those little needles, it requires more strength than with uh, the one that it does not have, the traditional Put it there again. I don't know if the camera gets this all that good, but you just need a little bit more strength. Why is Cold Steel using this? I don't know. Um, people complain also that it's more likely to break. These little needles things break more often than the stronger typical serration ones. Uh, the only explanation I can find, because Cold Steel are, you know, they're smart people and they do know knives. Um, the only thing that I can honestly say it's better at than the traditional serrations, which I really much rather have, is maybe for, for cutting wood, as a, using it as a saw. You know, when I'm using it, using it like a saw, you know, these do okay. These are quite good. These are some of the best serrations that I found anywhere. The ones in the soldier. I'd love if, if Cole still used this instead. You know, when sawing like this, yeah, it doesn't do maybe as good of a job. That's where this looks more like a like a <laughs> like an actual saw. So I don't know. I'm really trying to find you know justify what Cole Steel is is doing with those serrations. I don't know, <laughs> not even that, you know, it's, it really at least makes no sense. It's more fragile, more likely to break. And when you're actually, you know, cutting through stuff, you know, like cardboard, you're cutting through stuff like that. What happens is that it, it just clogs full of crap and makes it harder for cutting. Uh, that does not happen with your straight edge. Okay. These 
serrations clog up faster and they just do not shred once, once it happens uh, as well. All right, so my advice basically folks is cold steel all the way, Voyager all the way, I do love it. Avoid the serrations, go with a straight edge all the way, uh, which is simply better. You know, I stopped, uh, I don't even, I don't have it really here with me right now, the, the last uh, vaquero that I bought, but I went with a, with a straight edge. Uh, I'm no longer using uh, the, the serrations. Is this nitpicking into small little details and at the end of the day all of these knives serrations are not cut really well? Yeah, but if you're going to be going for the little details and wanting the best of the best uh, in terms of, of maximum performance, um, these serrations uh, could be changed for something better. Cold Seal, please put these serrations instead if you're going to be giving me a combo wedge. I'd much rather have that than this. You know, just clogs up very fast. You know, and clearly, I mean, clearly, the straight edge just cuts better. Okay, you see that very well. I cannot be any more clear than that. Same thing again, clogging up. Uh, serrations may be for a soldier that has a strap or cordage or piece of 550 and yeah, maybe, you know, a little bit of those serrations, but at least give me those, not these ones. All right, folks. Um, guys, that's been all for now. My opinion on the Cold Steel Voyager is still uh, very much uh, extremely positive. I do recommend not lacking the serrations. Prefer um, a straight edge and something that Cold Steel could do. Maybe they have some logic around it. I much rather have typical serrations. Make this, repeat this loop all the way and get rid of those silly needles that just break off so easily. Guys, that's been all for now. Remember to subscribe, more stuff coming up. Take care, see you on our next video. Have a great day.